Hi YouTuber, uh, today I got my pool blaster battery power leaf vacuum from Amazon.com uh, I do have a pool cleaner uh, with the name of this Tiger Sharp made by the Hayward It's a very good unit but the problem is the storage to holding the debris is very small and I have to pull the unit out of the water so many times to get all the leaves from the bottom of the Pool. For that reason, I ordered this uh, device. I take a look at them in the YouTube. Seems like it's doing a good job to removing the objects, uh, big object like uh, leaves or uh, anything that it can float with the uh, movement of the water. Uh, when I got the unit, uh, I opened this battery pack. Uh, uh, battery compartment and I take a look at the uh, battery holder that they do have uh, and uh, I am familiar with uh, some of the devices that have been used in a water like a water scooter that they have a battery pack or battery I know it's not going to be an easy way of the keeping the water out of the battery compartment and especially for this device I don't believe even uh, any amount of the uh, silicon replication that you can put around this after opening them up a couple of times and closing them it can prevent of the getting the couple drop of the water in there and start crowding this uh, battery holder because this battery holder at the way that i'm seeing it include of the connection that they do have they are not uh, marine uh, quality uh, materials so the rest of the component that i need uh, from the home depot and amazon.com uh, this stuff came from the home depot these are the uh, water resist or water proof uh, connector for the wire that i need is a two wire you need two pair of these this is the for the top part top, top part of the pole and the bottom part of the pole and you do need one of this battery holder that is holding three lithium ion battery these are the 18650 300 uh, 3000 milliamp battery you need three of these batteries uh, of course you can get them for the different rating if you would like uh, i have a two piece of garment the right in here to pass the wire through and these are about quarter inch i got one of these uh, conduit hanger this is about uh, three quarter of the inch uh, because that is the minimum size of the pole that I do have. My pole is a uh, four section and the last section that is going to be in the top is a three quarter of the inch thick. Of course, I changed the screws on them. I got them this type of the wing nut that I can uh, loosen and tighten them up without using any tool because we want to make the life as easy as possible. Then uh, you need one of these screws that is a quarter inch. Uh, flat top screws that you need to be grinded that even to get rid of that uh, arch that you see the thinner that is going to get the better that is going to be this is going to be the piece that is going to be sitting between the battery holder and this uh, conduit uh, hanger that is going to attach the battery holder to the pole I will show you to guys when this thing, this thing goes all together but to just showing you what up of the component that I'm using right now. Of course, I do have the epoxy right in here. You need some epoxy. I do have a electrical tape, some liquid tape, and you need a wire almost one foot longer than the maximum extension on your pole that is going to get attached to this uh, pull blaster. Uh, I use some of this grease after I get done with a wiring uh, to close this lid make sure the water doesn't get in there and mess with the wiring that i do have and start doing the corrosion one more piece that i forgot to talk about it is this uh, nine volt uh, what do you call connect battery connector i got it that i'm going to use them in end of one of these uh, uh, wire right in here that it get made with a connector that I do have inside of this uh, compartment Be, uh, you can just snap them in and I don't need to do so much a modification on the wiring so I'm just going to put everything together and I show you the final product I stop in the middle of my process to show you guys something since that I'm going to use the connector instead of cutting the wire I'm going to have another connector that is going to made with the original connector inside the battery pack I drill the hole right in here a quarter inch I pass the wire through it and I connect them to the one of these waterproof connector that I do have the male side and uh, barely you can 
pull this wire through this hole but uh, i'm not going to be just dependent to the tight hole i'm going to use the epoxy and put some glue around it to make sure it's good uh, when you're doing the soldering make sure that you use the uh, shrink on it and then shrink this thing i didn't shrink them yet uh, that you can have a good uh, insulated system the reason uh, one thing that you have to pay attention is when you're connecting the wire from this connector the red one supposed to connect it to the black and black one to the red the reason is that i decided to use this connector that they can make with the other one so if you just cut this you don't need to doing anything just connect the red one to the red and black to the black but if you are doing it the same way that i'm using net right now you ordering one of these connectors you can just snap them together you have to make sure when you connecting this extra connector that you bought to your wiring make sure you swap the wire red to the black and black to the red and that's about it and after that point everything is going to stay as it's supposed to okay they, are, they put a battery pack for lithium ion together and uh, this is the voltage that it's reading a little over 12 volt and it's giving you much better current and also the pole is ready I already run the wire through and put a garment in the boat end and the connector one side for the battery and the other side that is going to go to the uh, pool blaster also, it had a garment and they are ready. When I'm gonna start putting them together, I'm gonna show you how this thing gonna work. Uh, also, this battery pack, I already connect the I can't do it a holder in the back of it, and I use those black stuff that you see is a liquid uh, tape. I put them in on top of it to make sure it has a good insulation that it doesn't uh, get rusted. One thing that you got to pay attention to, let me just take one of these batteries out, one second. As I was mentioning, one thing that you guys were supposed to pay attention when you put these screws to connecting them to the bracket, you have to grind the top of it before we put the screws in, because if it's gonna be too far out, it doesn't let the battery to sit in a place correctly. If you just grind them you know, and you make them as flat as possible, it has to have enough co a good connection that is gonna work for you guys. This is battery pack have been installed on the post right in here as you can see uh, it has just one wing knot you loosen them up and you pop in the mud you never gonna leave this battery pack outside under sun or rain every time you're done with it it's just one screw loosen them up and the other one for the wire and you can take them in to recharge the battery or keeping them inside never leave this thing under the rain or uh, sun because well, both of them is going to be the biggest enemy for the battery and they ruin them pretty quickly of course these batteries they are sitting in there pretty securely they are not coming up but i'm just going to use a little uh, rubber band putting them around this while i'm using them that in case if the uh, if i lose the pulse and it dropped the battery doesn't pop out but uh, as you can see they are very securely sitting in a place so just gonna be putting a little rubber band that's gonna go around this and it's gonna be ready it's gonna be look like this and you can see all of those leaf hopefully it's gonna come out soon after i put everything together shortly i'm just waiting for the glue that i put for the hole that i made and i passed the wire through the uh, pool blaster i put some uh, epoxy on it i'm waiting to get dry up okay we are almost ready to go ahead and uh, put this one inside the pole. I just was going to show you guys before I close in this thing as you can see the two connectors They meet in each other right there and I'm going to put them inside I already put some uh, silicon Grease on this. I'm going to close them up and uh, Tying them up also I, when I pass the wire through I pulled them through I put some epoxy right in here as you can see the same type of epoxy that the manufacturer used for the other side to sealing the wire that is coming out for the motor and then when this thing get dry I'm going to drop them in a pool and show you guys how this thing is going to work in action today is a November 7 in Austin Texas uh, early in the morning today is overcast the system is ready I already installed the battery and full blaster is in a place connection is already made and glue 
So for the first time, we're gonna turn them on, put them inside the pool and find that high profile. right now in top of the pile of the leaves that it land in a pool and yep it actually pretty fast filled up the bag I wish that it had a better qual build quality overall I'm not just talking about the battery pack and those kind of stuff it's a jiggle a bit make sure the Lift doesn't stuck with a propeller. Yep, we just got a big pile of the leaves right in a matter of the, I say, less than a minute. No, it's about a little more than a minute. One minute and 20 seconds. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can put a little more in it and then I'm gonna pull them out. I think so. If it lasts at least a couple of years, definitely worth about 100 bucks. It looks like a toy. Quality is not the strong point of this innovation. Build quality, I mean. Okay, I have so much in there. I'm gonna pull them out, get those leaves out, and then try it again. Of course, I'm doing it with one hand, and with one hand, I'm holding the camera. Let's see how this thing is. Yep. As you see, the bag is half full. Let me shut them off. Okay, that's it. Be about, I say, 35 to 40 minutes to completely clean the spa and uh, pull from the leaves. We took every single leaf off. We're just going over it once. Of course, I have right there two left. But overall, they did a good job. The only problem, again, as I'm saying, I wish that it had a better built quality. It's obvious but I would like to mention it that every time that you want to disassemble the unit make sure you disconnect the wire then remove the, uh, the units because you don't want to jerk down the wire and messing them up the same thing for the battery part as you can see I put a little rubber band right in here that the battery stay a little more secure is already secure enough so first you unscrew this thing disconnect the wire then you can remove this wing nut and remove the whole battery pack one more improvement that I while I was using them the manufacturer can do to get a better performance out of the system is installing some sort of the foam or ball in end of this uh, net or uh, yeah, they call them net or a screen that it can keep the while you are using the system you, uh, in a pool it keep the bag up, uh, upward and allow the uh, leaves to get in much easier